Ayal. In this tutorial, I will give you uh, a bit introduction about Maestro. Uh, so, Cadence uh, will remove ADL and ADXL entry points in uh, the menu option here in the launch. Uh, these two tools will be legacy for the latest Cadence releases. That means uh, they won't support uh, this ADL and ADXL. Uh, or let's say they won't uh, fix any bugs if you find out uh, in the ADL or ADXL tools or provide some new utilities for these two tools uh, in the future releases. And all those features or improvements or bugs which you found, found out in the ADL and ADXL, they'll be uh, resolved in the AD Explorer and AD Ascender, which are the two tools which will be replacing ADL and ADXL. To be honest, I, I don't think these new features or improvements will help students or in academia, but okay to try this uh, new tool as in industry you'll be working with Maestro only. But don't forget the working principle is same, the way we use the setup the analysis, the using the calculator to define the outputs and everything, it's the same, just the interface is changing a bit. And so in this uh, tutorial, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to use the same test case which I uh, showed you for the OPAP PVT variation uh, in the AD and ADXL. So I'm going to try to use the same setup uh, to show you how to do uh, simulation in, in Maestro tool. Okay. So here, uh, as an Example, again, I'm using the open loop gain setup, the common mode gain setup, the silverate setup, and the total harmonic distortion setup of the op -amp. So when I go for launch here, in the new releases, if I think you are using the IC619 or 20 uh, or R2, uh, let's say the, the latest one, you won't see the ADL, ADXL, or ADGXL. You will see the AD Explorer or ADS on that. So the AD Explorer, it is very similar to the ADE. L that means single test bench verification and uh, the AD assembler it is uh, similar to the ADXL that is the multi test bench verification okay so in this tutorial I will show you for the users for, or for the uh, designers who are already using the ADL and ADXL and now in the latest release of the cadence they don't see uh, those two options so I will show you in this tutorial how to migrate your old uh, environment to the uh, let's say the explorer or to the assembler. Okay, so first of all, uh, let's see how to migrate the ADL state. For example, if you remember in my uh, when I was trying to do the simulation, I was seeing the states. Okay, so like here or in the respective state. So how to migrate this uh, from the ADL to the explorer? Okay, now what I'm going to do is first I will go here. I will launch the ADE explorer. So the moment I launch, I create a new one here, and you see here the view, it's the Maestro, okay? So you can simply, you can go to also library manager and uh, create a new file and create a new name like this, and uh, yeah, go for this AD Explorer. But let's keep it like this, the view is Maestro, you remember, this should be important, this is important here, and then I press OK. So a new window will come up here, you can see here, now, uh, it's very similar to the ADL environment. If you remember, I had this the sessions, the setup, analysis, variables, outputs, very, very similar way, the way I used to do it uh, in the ADL environment. But let's focus in this tutorial on how to migrate the old test cases or old uh, environments, the old states which I had done in the ADL or ADXL to the uh, AD Explorer and AD Assembler respectively. So here, the first step, what you do is, uh, I go here, uh, I start this session and then the next step will be go to session here and load state. Okay, so here you see load ADL state. So I just click on this and then I go where my state I have saved. It is this under this in the cell opamp underscore pvt uh, spectre state one. So I just press OK here and uh, so basically now I migrated my state from the ADL to the Maestro AD Explorer. You can see at the top here also it's the AD Explorer. So then what's the next step? Next step is I simply go here, I simulate it. Very similar to the ADL environment. So I just run the simulation and I will see the results, okay?
So you'll see the log file here coming once the log file is over, the simulation is over. I will simply so there is again here the option here to plot. Uh, okay, it plotted on its own also, but what I'm going to do is because I have unselected the waveforms also here, so I'll select them and run it again. Okay, so the simulation is over and now I will plot it. So you can see here basically I am plotting the same waveforms I am getting which I was getting from the Edith environment. So again just repeating here, go to the session. If you are trying to migrate your old uh, state from the ADL environment to this new AD Explorer which is under my store. So go to session, load ADL state and then uh, the state will be loaded. You go to that particular location and then simply run run here and then plot outputs. So this is for uh, migrating from ADEL to the uh, Explorer, okay? And now let's see how to migrate from ADEXL state to the SMR, okay? That's why I took this example uh, for the PVT because uh, in my uh, this environment, I had both ADEXL and ADEL state, okay? Uh, so now let's try to see uh, how to go to uh, how to import or how to migrate the ADXL state to the assembler. One more thing I would like to show you here is it's very important here. You can simply, if you click on this or you can go to launch here, you can simply uh, shift between the AD Explorer and AD assembler. Okay. Okay. Let me do it like this. Now I go here, I simply click on AD assembler. So you can see here now it's the, the setup which I get here. It's very similar to the ADXL. Okay. So this is one way to do it, okay? Now, uh, uh, again, if I want to go back to the AD Explorer, I go here, launch AD Explorer, I go back to AD Explorer, okay? So that is the same, you simulate it the way you do it in the ADL. Now let's try another way. Uh, the, the another step which I want to show you is uh, how to migrate from, how to migrate from ADXL to the assembler. As I said, the ADL, is similar to the Explorer and ADXL is similar to the. So here I go to launch AD Assembler, which is very similar to the ADXL. So I click on this, I create a new one first time and I press OK here. Yes, I want to override that, what's existing. Now here, so here it's a bit different than how I used to do for the AD Explorer. So in the AD Explorer, I was going here load and then load the ADL state, right? But here it's a bit different, how? So here to launch uh, or to migrate from the ADXL to the, to the AD, to the AD assembler, I go to file and here there is this option import. Remember it's import, it's not load setup state, it's import. So I click on import, I go to my um, cell view, it's the open PVT and here I have this ADXL, okay? So I just click on ADXL uh, operation of 10. Okay. So basically it loaded me the ADXL state which I had set it here. Okay. And if I expand it here, you can see uh, all those variables which I was defining and then simply I can again run it. If I see my, I think I was doing the corners here also. Uh, you can see all those corners here. Uh, and then I will simply run it. So you can see this if you want to see how I did this setup here. You can go back to my uh, this one of the videos on this open verification where I did the PVT variations. I set up this everything here, and uh, yeah, then once you migrate it to this uh, AD assembler here, you can simply run it again, and then it's very similar to the AD Excel environment. So I, I, as I said in the beginning, there is not much difference. Uh, between the ADL and ADXL or uh, Explorer and Assembler. It's just a UI interface and you need to explore it a bit. Uh, the rest is everything same. Uh, let's try one more thing here. This option is here. It's again, if you want to go between uh, Explorer to the Assembler, something like this. If I click on this, it will go back up to the back to my uh, AD Explorer here, if you see here, right? And if I click again on this, it will go to the AD Assembler here very similar to the launch options. So this is something also which you can, you know, uh, when you are trying to create a network from scratch in the assembler itself or in the explorer, uh, you can try this also. But uh, this tutorial was just about how to migrate 
an existing state from the ADEL or ADXL to the uh, AD Explorer or AD Ascender, like that. And uh, I will also make one more uh, tutorial uh, a bit on how to, let's say, uh, use a calculator and all those stuff, you know, create a basically uh, a uh, simulation state from the scratch uh, in the AD Explorer or AD Ascender. So you, we can wait a bit for this uh, to finish. So it's right now on 32. So yeah, let's see. Yeah. Let's say finish then. Uh, now some of the advantages of the uh, AD assembler is that, uh, or the ADXL or the ADL is that uh, it somehow resolves some of the Monte Carlo issues which you say mostly if you are failing some tests. So in this case, uh, they won't be failing because uh, they resolve these issues here. And uh, as I said also, uh, Cadence will provide continuous, continuous support on the uh, AD Ascender and Explorer. They won't give you any further support on the ADL and ADXL. So if you are facing any issues or any error in the ADL or ADXL, uh, you might have to move to uh, ADS and uh, let's say the mice. Okay, so now it's finished here, the simulation. So same way, like the way I was in the ADXL, I will simply run it and I get this, uh, the waveform which I showed you in previous tutorials. So this is all about uh, um, how to migrate your states from ADL to the Explorer and from the ADXL to the assembler and a bit about uh, my school also. Thanks.